Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Now, when we see something that is against to the laws of Allah and His Prophet, when we see actions of a person, of a community, of a nation that is against to the laws of Allah and His Prophet, And when we look at those actions and we're not liking those actions and we're looking at those actions and we say it is against to Allah and His Prophet and we're looking at ourselves and say, am I doing those actions sincerely? And if we're looking at those actions as a warning from Allah to us it's a lesson that we have to learn not to commit that. And when we speak about it, and we are sincere in that we, if Allah lets our leash to be loosed a little bit, our ego to be loosed, we are going to be worse than those ones who commit those actions. That time is not backbiting. Otherwise, you're going to charge Allah with backbiting too. Allah is mentioning in the Quran, Holy Prophet is mentioning about so many events that has happened of individuals and also nations, past, present and future, and the wrong actions that they are doing. And the Quran is speaking about that. The Quran even speaks about individual. And if you take a narrow understanding of what backbiting is, then you're going to accuse Allah of backbiting about Abu Jahil or Abu Lahab, isn't it? It becomes very bad for us if we look at ourselves better than Abu Jahil or Abu Lahab. That we're looking at ourselves that we are superior, that we are free from those characteristics that they have. Now you start to see the separation because when you are looking at something that is wrong there, you're not looking at the person. You're looking at the actions. The person is good, maybe. But the action is very bad. And you're not agreeing with that action. And you're saying, Ya Rabbi, protect me from those actions. And you're not looking at yourself saying, Oh, I don't have those actions. All oh, these people are very bad. I'm good. You're not going to say that. No person who is ever in a spiritual way is going to say that. A person who is in a spiritual way is going to say, I'm a fakir. I don't have anything. So at that time, you will learn. That time you are not slandering, which is worse than backbiting. You're not making fitna. You're seeing some actions that is against to Allah and His Prophet. Now, is the permission and authority given for everyone to be talking about this? No, it is not. You're not going to be busy with other people. You're going to be busy with yourself. You're going to disconnect even yourself from feeling anything personal about that. And those ones who are being very emotional and their days are spent only in slandering and backbiting and causing fitna and insulting and cursing, a uh, big thing now. Everyone's cursing at each other. Priests cursing at each other, rabbis cursing at each other, now imams and sheikhs cursing at each other publicly. Saying Allah's curse is on you, Allah's curse is on them, Allah's curse is if you are a friend of Allah, not only you're not going to curse, depending on the level that you are, when you see someone is going to get cursed by Allah, you're going to stand in front to take that curse. Isn't it?
because Mahdi alayhi salam is not here yet. So, inshallah, we learn something from this. Be busy with ourselves. We may not like certain actions, and you should not like certain actions. Don't go the other extreme also to say, oh, we love everyone. And everyone is good. No, not everyone is good. And we should not love everyone. And there are some people that looks good, but their actions have shown that they are not. And there are some people who doesn't look so good, but their actions prove that they are very good. So you have to have vision. You have to be with those ones who have vision. You have to have authority and you have to have permission to speak, to remind. Otherwise, no one has the permission to speak about such things. Yes, we are talking about the shaitan wahhabis. Yes, of course. The actions that they're doing, it is shaitanic. We're not pronouncing takfir on them. We're not saying they are going to, may Allah curse them, may they... No. What is this? Where we learn from this? From Shia? Shia are the ones who is cursing. Even 1400 years, they're still continually cursing. Uh, if it works, it would have worked the first year, the first time. Is, is, don't you see it's not working? You're cursing, you're only cursing yourself. It's showing them that one is not really a close one to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the one who is close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to be close to the Prophet wasalam. Yes, wrong things may be punished. But still, that one is representing rahmat lil alameen. You understand now the delicate balance of it? That Holy Prophet wasalam, he took his sword out and he punished, he cut the necks of the unbelievers and he made them to become captives. And once... The prisoners from the unbelievers, they sat and they saw the Prophet ﷺ walking between them and smiling, looking at them and smiling and looking at them and smiling because those ones, they were so evil. Their ego and shaitan is overtaking them, those unbelievers. They say, look at him now. He calls himself a prophet and he's gloating. He's being happy that he defeated us. Holy Prophet just smiled, alayhi sallatu wasalam. And he said, don't you know, the prisoners, my prisoners, I will also make them to become prisoners to bring them to paradise. That everything that the Prophet touched, with a sword, with anything, is a blessing and it brings them to paradise. That Prophet ﷺ takes all his prisoners, no matter how bad and evil they are, to paradise. How now people are going to understand this? They'll never understand this unless you become a believer, not even a Muslim, a believer. How is the West going to understand this? Never. Because they're still stuck with the most basic thing. Father, son, mother, grandfather, holy ghost, holy... They're still stuck there. Man, not man, half man, all men, all men, all, they're still stuck there. If you're still stuck with your kalima, how can you move forward to understand yourself? Astaghfirullah So, may Allah give us understanding. Assalamu